That would be a square of some sort of mm -hmm. piazza. Very good. Find yourself walking through and just notice the details. Notice the colors and the textures. Tell me what you see. There would be uh, small blocks of something, mm -hmm. like bricks. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're in concentric patterns. Mm -hmm. And there's shops and restaurants around it. Mm -hmm. People sitting out there having lunch. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? Are they modern or are they older? They're all the old world type people. Mm -hmm. How are they dressed? Like, uh, I don't know, gypsy type mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Are there many of them? Yeah, it's a pretty day. There's people out enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now this place, is it all surrounded with buildings all around, or is there a place that come out of this place, of this yeah, square? There'd be a, a little streets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to continue walking through this and tell me what else you envision here. Notice the colors. Notice the textures, the feeling. Colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of black wrought iron and mm -hmm. layers of plaster. Mm -hmm. Do these buildings seem old or new? Yeah, they're real old. Old. Mm -hmm. How old do you imagine these buildings are? Medieval. Medieval. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to now imagine what the observer of this place looks like. Look down at your own feet. What do you observe? Hmm. What's the first thing? I feel like I'm making this up. Mm -hmm. Of course. But I'm seeing um, some lace up, short boots, mm -hmm. little heel. Mm -hmm. Look at and, the rest of you. And like a green skirt that's. Is it a short skirt or a it's long more skirt? like ankle length. Mm -hmm. And a apron kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Is it a flowy dress? Or? Yeah, it's, it's pretty bill-shaped. Mm -hmm. But it's like made out of some kind of woven, looks like maybe burlap, but different. Mm -hmm. What about the top of you? Take a look at your top. Is it all the same dress? That would be a... Just like a peasant blouse, mm -hmm. just like a mm -hmm. scoop neck and big flowy sleeves. Mm -hmm. Look at your hands. What do your hands look like? Look at the color. I'm not young. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Allow the number to just pop uh, into your mind. Like a look at the number. Seventy something. Seventy. Mm hmm. See if you're carrying anything in your hands. Do you have anything? Mm. Nope. No. All right. Let's take a look and see what you look like. Look at your hair, your face. Well, hair's up in a cap of some sort of. Mm -hmm. Like a. Looks like a baby hat or mm -hmm. something. Like a little bonnet. Bonnet. Yeah. What color is this bonnet? White. Mm -hmm. Is it soft or is it stiff? What does it look it's, like? Uh, it's soft. Mm -hmm. And what did you? What do you look like? I'm pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. um, like, kind of like leather type skin. Mm -hmm. You feel like you've been out in the sun a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a worked outside a lot or something. Yes. So we're going to find out what it is that you're doing here today. And by that, we're going to go to your home. 
I'm going to go ahead and count from 1 to 3. When I get to number 3, I want you to be at the place where you live, right in front of it so we can look at it. So take a deep breath in now. 1, 2, and 3. Be there now. See what this place looks like that you live in. Mm. It's on a little side street. Mm -hmm. And it isn't crooked, but it's asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. How big is this? It's not very big. Mm -hmm. How do you get inside? There's a wooden door. Mm -hmm. With a little metal grid thing on it. How do you open this door? It's got a handle on it. Okay. Go ahead and open the door and let's step inside. And tell me, what's the first thing that you see inside? Oh, there's a fireplace. Mm -hmm. There's a table with some flowers on it. Beautiful. What else do you there's see? There's a kitchen kind of thing. There's a, but it's not like a kitchen kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's like a, some shelves and some pots and pans that you would use in the fireplace, kind okay. of. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in the fireplace now? Nope. No. So look around and let's see where it is that you sleep. Where is it that you sleep in this place? Well, there's a bed. Looks like it's made out of trees or something. Just. Mm-hmm. Um, but it looks real soft. The mattress looks really padded and mm -hmm. soft. Do you see more than one bed in there, or is it just one? No, I think it's just me. Okay, very good. So now that we've established that this is the place where you live, we're going to find out a little bit more about you and how you spend your days. So I'd like for you now to just begin to drift and float through time and space to find how it is that you earned your living, what you did during the days. See yourself now doing. <laughs> milking cow, milking mm. a cow. Milking a cow. Is this your cow or somebody else's cow? You'll oh. know. Seems like it's somebody else's cow. Mm -hmm. So you're working for someone milking their cow? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do you do besides milking the cow? Take a look and see. What are your other duties at this place? Seeing some, like some geese and mm -hmm. goats. And so you're like a, a caregiver for these yeah, animals? I think I take care of these animals. Mm -hmm. How do you connect with these animals? Oh, I just love them. Mm -hmm. I love animals. Mm -hmm. Very good. So look around this place. What is this place where you work? It's a farm of some sort, but it's not big. It's a small farm. Mm -hmm. I think I help the owner because they can't do it. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm old, it's like they're more old or something. All right, so let's find out who they are. I want you to close that scene and see yourself now with those that own this farm. Be there now. I think it's an old man. Mm -hmm. Connect with him. How does he feel to you? I don't think we're related. I think we're just friends. Mm -hmm. Can you see his face? The yeah, eyes. There's this guy that's, he looks almost like Popeye the Sailor Man or something. Mm -hmm. Now the eyes are the window to the soul. I'd like for you to look into those eyes and see if those eyes seem familiar. If you've seen those eyes in the lifetime of Sabrina. I don't think so. I mean, he's got a real sparkle. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of squinty. Mm-hmm. Seems like blue eyes. Blue eyes. Does he feel familiar? Hmm. Yeah, he seems familiar, but I don't mm -hmm. know who he is. All right. Well, if this man has been in the lifetime of Sabrina, she will understand at a later time. Oh. 
So now let's close the seam. And we're going to go now to another time and another Wait a minute. Planet. That's Richard. That's Richard. Mm -hmm. Richard was my mentor mm -hmm. in this life. And he had that sparkle of those blues out, but he was bigger. Mm -hmm. a little more like Santa Claus this Very time good. around. Very good. Uh, You'll understand the connection. You'll understand why Richard has been in the lifetime of Sabrina. And now, anything else important from there? All right. It was country, and it was somewhere in Europe. Mm -hmm. You'll understand in a moment. So now we're going to close that scene, and we're going to go to a very important event in that lifetime, something that changed that whole life that affected it. Be there now. Oh. Um. What is this memory? Where are you? I don't know. It's, it's an abrupt ending. Mm -hmm. How did this life end? I guess he died. I think he died. Mm -hmm. And what happened to you? Take a look. I'd like for you to go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself on the last day of your life. What happened? I would be on that little bed. Mm -hmm. Check in with your body and tell me how your body feels on that bed. Old and tired and beat up. Mm -hmm. Tired. Hard work. Just hard work. So I'd like for you to just kind of look through your whole life. Every lifetime has a purpose, has a mission, and has lessons. What do you imagine the purpose of that lifetime was all about? What comes to mind? Just helping a friend. Helping a friend. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons about that from that life? Oh, well, learned how to take care of animals. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. And simple stuff, you know? Very simple things make you happy. Very good. Do you feel that that lifetime was a happy one? Yeah. Very good. So what I'd like for you to just take your last breath in that lifetime. Just see yourself taking that last breath and detaching your spirit from that body. And now, as spirit, you can go any place, anywhere. I'd like for you to tell me what is the next thing that you see after you leave that body behind? What do you see from that perspective? Where do you go? I want to say outer space. Mm. That's go ahead and tell me. What do you see? Just floating around mm -hmm. through space. Through space. So as you're floating around through space, I'd like for you to tell me what are the things that you're focusing on as you're floating? What do you see? Just um, nebulas, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that, mm -hmm. just misty. Yeah, do you see any colors, any shapes? I'm seeing pink and purple. And beautiful. Just continue drifting and floating and tell me, in this space that's so vast, do you feel like you're alone or are there others with you? Use your senses. How does it feel? I feel like I'm alone, but I'm at peace. It's okay. I mm -hmm. like it. Very good. So let's continue to just drift through that space. I want you to just have fun and enjoy your journey through space. And just tell me what's happening. What do you focus on as you're floating? What do you experience? Um... I don't know. I like the feeling of it. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not really in a body. I'm just kind of... Mm -hmm. Your spirit. You can go anywhere. Just floating around. And mm -hmm. So just adjust yourself to that beautiful feeling of just floating. Yeah, it feels good because there's no pain. And, mm -hmm. and it's kind of cool and tingly. And, 
Mm -hmm. um, and I'd like for you to go ahead and test how it feels to be able to move in one direction or another. All you have to do is set your intention, and you're there. That is how spirit moves. So look around this space and see if there's anything that catches your eye or attention that you would like to explore even more. What do you experience that um, looks interesting? Coming up on something, mm -hmm. a planet. So the more you speak and describe it, the more it'll pop up. It's almost like when you're painting and you add more paint, you'll be able to define it in more detail. So hone in on this detail and tell me what it is. Mm. I keep wanting to say Saturn, mm -hmm. but it's not the right size. And that's okay. I don't want you to use any judgment. Okay. I want you to just say whatever pops into your mind without using any analysis. And I'm hearing things. I'm hearing something. All right. So I want you to go ahead and it's tell like me. It's like the sound of the planet. Mm, beautiful. What does the sound of the planet sound like? It's a... Uh, it's like a cosmic, uh, it's almost like, it's like a music, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's like horns or something. Okay, I want you to hone in. Yeah, it's like, um, like in the symphony or something, it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's horns and it's, Almost like cosmic music. Mm hmm You know, real holtzy. Mm hmm How is that affecting you? How is oh, this music? Oh, I like you? it. I mm -hmm. could Listen. be here forever. Listen to it. I want you to make it part of you. Absorb this music. Mm. How does that affect you? Um... Well, it's very peaceful. I like mm -hmm. it. Good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and just absorb that music. Make it yours. So that when you hear that music again, whether it be in any state of mind, you'll understand where it's coming from. And now I'd like for you to follow that music. Find the origin of where that music is coming from. It's coming from the planet. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the planet, but you don't hear it unless mm -hmm. you're out. out mm -hmm. You know. So go ahead and get closer. Get closer to the planet, and tell me what you experience. Well, there's a debris field. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. It's not real fast, so you can skip through it. Mm-hmm. What else? What else do you experience from this? It? It's, it's kind of like playing with a planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I can zip around it and then I'll probably go check out another planet in a minute. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at your size compared to this planet. It's like a the ratio is I'm bigger. Mm -hmm. I, it doesn't seem as big as it's supposed to be. See how big you truly are compared to this planet. It's like in ratio, I'd be bigger than Earth. Mm -hmm. like That's right. Huge. You're huge. So knowing that you are this huge, you can go anywhere. Yeah. Where would you like to go next? What I'm not heavy or anything, but I'm giant. Mm hmm. So let's continue. What do you go to next after playing with this planet? What catches your attention now? There's something in the Milky Way. Mm -hmm. What's there? I don't know. I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know that it's something in there. Mm -hmm. So use all of your inner guidance and just flow towards it. Flow towards this thing. It's just so pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. 
when there's a lot of good energy coming out of mm-hmm. that. So. so I'd like for you to just take that energy in and just enjoy it. Just enjoy what you're receiving. And keep moving. Allow yourself to just move. And tell me what you experience next. What's catching your attention now? I want to say a comet. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm racing next to it. Mm. Like we're having a race. Uh Uh-huh. Can you connect with that comet? Does it have any type of consciousness? It's kind of like we're friends, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like if you were a child racing your buddy. Yes. Does the comet have its own direction, or does it just... Oh, it's going somewhere. We Uh both know where it's going, so... Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of teasing it and playing with it like, hey, I can go as fast as you. Mm -hmm. So where where is it that you're both going to now? Um, First thing I thought was Earth. Mm -hmm. Keep going with the flow. See where you end up. I just don't want to think that it's Earth. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to analyze. I just want you to report. Well, it's very far away. Mm-hmm. Well, you're very big. Yeah, we're both very big. Mm-hmm. And um, what's catching your attention about Earth? I don't know. That just came to mind. Mm-hmm. And, but we're uh, we're enjoying the race. Yes. It's nice to be out there and have that freedom, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What happens next? You can fast forward and see where you go. Yeah, I go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see where you go. Where do you go? It's like now I'm looking at Earth. Mm-hmm. What do you see as you look at her? Just contemplating it. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm listening to it, too. Mm-hmm. And it's got a busy noise. It's not the same as the other one, is no, it? No, it's a super live, busy, busy. Mm-hmm. You can almost hear the horns honking and the planes flying. And mm-hmm. There's a lot of activity going on on it. So what do you feel from the noise of this planet? It's really interesting. Mm-hmm. It's like a country boy goes to the city. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting. There's a lot going on. Yes. Does it seem like you're just curious about yeah, this Yeah, there's a lot of activity. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you have been on this place before, or is it new to you? Um, What does it feel? Trust your first impression. Have you been here before? It feels like I was there a long time ago, but Mm -hmm. I don't remember much about it. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there in so long. Yes. It's (coughs) probably that the music has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it seems more um, rock and roll than it used to be. Mm Mm-hmm. So what does it do for this soul that's having fun out there racing comets? How does Earth... It makes makes me want to go there before Mm -hmm. um, I can't. Mm -hmm. Things have changed, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. So let's find out if there's any assistance that has guided you towards this planet. I want you to look around and see if you have any guides that have been with you all along. It's kind of like I know they're there, but I can't see them. Mm -hmm. 
So but, just like when you can't see things, I'd just like for you to connect with them and just ask them, do you need to go there? Do I need to go there? Mm-hmm. Is this cute? It's up to me. All right. So what do you decide? I just, I don't want to go there. Mm-hmm. I want to check it out, and I want to be there. All right, so let's see how you check it out. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, you'll be checking it out. One, getting closer, two, and three. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. I'm in the hospital. Um, I'm in the hospital. Look around. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you're feeling about being in this baby's body. Oh, it's so condensed. Mm -hmm. You were so big before, weren't you? Yeah, it's, That's a very small body. Yeah, it's a lot going on in one little bitty. It's more thick and mm. dense and hard. It's mm. hard. Mm -hmm. it's, Everything is hard now. It's isn't hard, it? man. It's little and it's like being in a tight room or something. It's, mm -hmm. It's a little uncomfortable. It is. It's real uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And there's something wrong with my feet. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your feet. What's wrong with your feet? They're twisting. They're twisted in. They're they're something happened. Something mm -hmm. happened in the uterus that I I kind of. I don't know what I did. I did something to my feet. All right. So we're going to go back to that uterus and see what happened. I'm going to count backwards from five to one with each number. You'll be going back at to the point of the time when things started to go different for this little, little tiny fetus. Begin now by taking a deep breath in five, going back, getting younger and younger. Four, seeing yourself inside now three going backwards the body is developing four three two and one look at the stage of development tell me what's going on where are you? I think I'm like just trying to cuddle too hard or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just on. Uh... Connect with your emotions. What do you feel? I just want to get out of here and check this place out. Ah. <laughs> And I'm like, you know, this is like I'm, I feel trapped. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing with your feet? I don't know. I'm doing something wiggly with my feet, and Let's my feet see. are going in, like, because I'm not used to feet. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, I guess I'm just messing around with them because I can't figure out what they are. Mm -hmm. And just notice the power that you have as spirit to make transformations, to do changes. Are you making changes to this little body that you're in? Are you testing things out? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I'm like, what's that? Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be there? <laughs> okay. So what I'd like for you to do now that you have the realization that this is going to change the way these feet are, I'd like for you to access the database that is innate into this body that you're in. And I'd like for you to now download the blueprint of what a human body should look like and function like. 
so that you can continue progressing without the disability of that leg, without deforming it. Go ahead and download that information now and begin to change and correct the feet. Hmm. And tell me what happens once you do that. The feet will adapt. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of water, mm -hmm. so they're better this way as flippers. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, and the parents have to uh, learn. It's a test for the parents, too. It is. Okay. What else have you done to this body to adjust it so that in the future you can remember things and work with them? Mm. Take a look and see. Have you built any, any adjustments to this body so that it could heal itself, for example? It's going to have strong antibodies. It's not going to get sick easily. Mm -hmm. It will uh, avoid a lot of germs. Yes. What is the reason for that? Uh, it's being born into a place that has a history of uh, yellow fever. Mm -hmm. Yellow fever took out a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So this body is being adjusted to that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real strong in other ways. In which ways are we going to adjust this body so that it could go through challenges in the future and be able to heal? Well, it's going to be smart. Uh huh. Um, smart and creative can uh, adjust easier. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, looking forward into the future of this body. Let's see if there's any things that are going to happen to this body that you can now put into this body at this time so that she will be able to heal quickly. Look, and look forward into this, this person's life in which you're inhabiting this body as a baby. What are the things that will be challenging her that we can now program? A real high threshold to pain. Mm -hmm. um, Why will being she able to see the big picture? Yes. Um, knowing it could be worse. Mm -hmm. Always being able to see the people that have it worse off. Yes. And what happens when she forgets? She's reminded immediately. In what way? It's How is she? Her toys are taken away, basically. Ah. Mm -hmm. She has to be on the right track. Yes. What is the purpose for this being to come into this body? Was it just curiosity? Will this soul have a mission here? It's kind of like beating the comet to the planet. Mm. But all of the tests are teaching compassion and understanding and a strength that others notice. Mm -hmm. And a calmness in a catastrophe. Mm -hmm. Why is it that this soul needs to have these skills, abilities, and knowing? Is there going to be a catastrophe, or in her life, will she, will she have different Yeah, there's something's going to happen, something big. Mm -hmm. What is she being prepared for? Helping others in the middle of chaos. Mm -hmm. Has she been doing that already? She has. Mm -hmm. But doesn't that get tiring? when she has people in her life 
that she tries to help and they don't help themselves. Some people are lost causes. Mm -hmm. But they're all worth it. Are there any in her life right now that she needs to move on from? Or is she still there in that mode of helping? Some people you can't help. Mm -hmm. They're on their own path. They are. What advice would you like to give her about those in her life now that are close to her that don't seem to change, that can't be helped? Put their problems on the back burner. Mm -hmm. So what her, should her focus be? Helping everybody wake up. Mm. Pay attention. What is the importance right now of waking up? Why the, why the rush to beat the comet here? It's time. It's time to wake up. Mm -hmm. What's happening in the future that we need to be awake for? Something big. Mm -hmm. Something real big. Mm -hmm. Is the soul able to tap in to how big this is? Of the whole planet. Mm -hmm. Now we know that this soul is bigger than the planet. So let's expand. Let's expand out even further to be able to see what this big thing is that's coming. Use the senses. Use the feeling. I just keep seeing the earth wobbling like it's filled with jello. I mean, just mm -hmm. wobbling. Yes. And uh, I don't know what it's doing. So let's see what caused this wobble. I'd like for you to just see it from a different perspective. You may have to go around the earth and see it from a different place. What causes this wobble? It's a weight differential. It's a... Is it just shifting? Uh, it's like a... It's like it's... It's almost like an egg about to give birth. Mm -hmm. It's um, there's something coming out of it, mm -hmm. and it's there's it's it's like an egg hatching. All right. So I'd like for you to just progress through this hatching. What comes out of the earth? What comes out after the bobble? It's something different. It's just something different. Mm -hmm. It's something else. Yes. It's a part of the earth, but it's not. It's uh Is it a physical thing? Does it seem physical? Or energetic? What is it's earth giving birth? It's almost like to? plasmatic. It's mm -hmm. almost like So I keep saying like an egg, mm -hmm. but it's like the shell is still there. Yes. But then there's the egg mm -hmm. coming out. So it's um, the shell. The shell is still there. It's still there. Mm -hmm. So Earth is still there, but it has given birth to something else. Yes. Yes. And I want you now to connect with this thing that it gave birth to. And use your feelings, your emotions. How does it feel to you? Well, it's fresh and new, and it's... Uh... Connect with it. Does it have also a tone, a song to it? 
Yes, it does. It's a real sweet. It's real sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, like a, like a bird singing a lullaby or something. I mean, it's like a, it's like a bird actually singing. Mm-hmm. You know, like a. So beautiful. Yeah, it's a. It's pretty. So it's something fresh and new. It's fresh and new, mm-hmm. and it's good. Mm-hmm. How is this song affecting that busy song of the earth? Is it it's separate? like the difference between the city and the country. Mm-hmm. It's, um, is it being sung at the same time as the earth? Yeah, but like when you're in the country, you can't hear the city, and the city can't hear the country. Mm -hmm. But in outer space, you can hear both of them. Beautiful. So how is this going to affect all of the inhabitants of the Earth? What will they be hearing? Which song? (sighs) Whichever song they choose to hear. Mm. That's why they need to wake up, Mm -hmm. so they can pick a song. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to see this wobbling. What has it done to the earth and its inhabitants? Has it made any change? Chaos, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty... uh, it's so like jumping in a bathtub. There's, all, mm-hmm. there's, um, there's some. I don't see fire, but I see water. Mm-hmm. Where do you see the water? I see water sloshing around a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See if uh, the earth has changed at all. See if there's well, water. It's got to change. I mean, there's. Mm-hmm. Hone in on it closer and see if there's water where there was no water before. Oh, there's water everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's uh, water just sloshing all over the place, all over places. Mm -hmm. Way. Yeah. Big, big bodies of water moving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now this soul, this entity called Sabrina, what is her mission? Is she meant to be here during all of this? Or is she, is she here to prepare it? She's, she came, there seems to be, it's a time, like a, a time where she's not the only one, but she thought she was until, like, right before she got here, she realized other people were coming in too, and they're all, uh, chose to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, bring it, we're all bringing in a new era. Mm-hmm. Now all of these that have been coming into Earth, have they volunteered to come in? Or have the, has the song, the noise of Gaia, attracted them? I think a little of both. Mm-hmm. Noise of Gaia, that's good. I didn't know what that was, but that's pretty much what it was. Mm-hmm. And it is, it's kind of uh, mesmerizing or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just, you know, 
like moths to a flame. We wanted to go. Mm -hmm. um, where uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to be the calm of the storm. The calm of the storm. And right now, this entity lives in a place where there's a lot of water. Is she going to need to be in that place where all that water is? Will she be there or she'll be moving to higher ground? Hmm. It doesn't look like she'll be in Florida when all this happens. It mm -hmm. seems like uh, she'll be watching this stuff happen from an even higher mountain mm -hmm. than the mountains that are getting covered. Mm -hmm. But it's still a lot of hanging onto the ground. Yes. Huh. And even in this movement, she'll be the calm of the storm. Like it's not even happening. Mm -hmm. So does she need to be worried about this disaster, this chaos? No, she came for this. She came for this. It's all been leading up to this. Mm -hmm. Now we know that in that womb, this soul created a body that had a little bit of challenges. And throughout her lifetime, she has been accumulating more challenges in her body. What's happening with her limbs freezing up, getting accidents? She's screaming to get out and be a big free spirit again, mm -hmm. and she can't do it. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... The spirit is beating her up from the inside, trying to get out and go be big and free. Mm hmm What advice would you like to give her? To be the calm of the storm within her own body. Let the spirit go when she's asleep or something. Let mm -hmm. the spirit be free so it's not beating on the door to get out all the time. Mm -hmm. What's holding the spirit in? Hmm. What's reining it in? Is she? Yeah, she's not sleeping well enough for it to get out and go. She's having very troubled sleep. Mm -hmm. Let's go and see the cause of the sleep. What's causing her to not have good sleep? Look all around her, her bedroom, her home. Is there something keeping her from sleeping well? Well, there's stress playing out all over the place. Mm -hmm. She needs to turn that off when she goes to sleep. All right, so what would you advise that she do when she lay her, her head on that pillow to sleep? How can she turn that off? Give her a tool. Can we give her a big knob or a button to push in her mind to That's shut okay. down? Yeah. All right. So what would be the best way to shut down that mind at the end of the day? It's almost like when you walk to the bedroom and you shut down all those lights in the kitchen and all around. What would we like to give her so that when she lies down and puts that head on that pillow, she shut off all of that stress. Give her a visual. What's a good one for her? Hmm. Racing that comet would be a good one. Mm, very good. So let's give her that visual now. As she leaves that body to fly out in space and meet her friend once again. And make it a race. You can also even imagine somebody shooting off an imaginary gun at the beginning of the race. That's good. Mm -hmm. With a bing bang, she can leave her body and just take off flying. Yeah. And see her soar, getting larger and larger. 
And as that soul leaves her body, I'd like for you to go ahead and connect with the fibers in her body that do all of the healing. Once she is out and her body is at rest, let's connect with all of those fibers, the intelligence of her body that is there to heal. And let's see where we can heal this body now. Go ahead and put like a big flashlight over her body and begin to scan it and see what's the best place we can start to make adjustments, to increase the healing. What's the first place? The shoulder. Very good. So let's take a look at that shoulder. Imagine a big flashlight zeroing in and let's go deeper in and see what's going on inside of that shoulder that needs adjustment. Do you want me to tell you? Mm -hmm. What does it look like? It's a mess. Mm -hmm. um, there's a bunch of spurs on that bone. Mm -hmm. Now I know for a fact that Sabrina's very good at cleaning up messes. She's done that all of her life. So I want you to go ahead and imagine that she starts going into that shoulder. She can use brooms, she could use buckets, mops, vacuum cleaners. And allow yourself to get very, very tiny and let's see what we need to clean up first. What do we want to do with those spurs that are causing her irritation? Let's grind them down. All right, so let's bring a big grinding machine and let's grind them down. Make them nice and smooth. See yourself grinding them. And that grinding will be done with love. And tell me when all of the grinding is completed. That's funny because <laughs> what's there? A little person grinding a bunch mm -hmm. of stuff. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I can feel it. Mm hmm That's funny. And tell me when all of the grinding has completed so we can go on to the next step. Okay. All right. Now that all the spurs have been grinded, what oh. needs to be done now? Um, it just needs to fit in there better. All right. So what we want to do is we want to bring a bucket of lubrication. I want you to see yourself with buckets, maybe one, two, or maybe just almost like the, the, just a, a whole bit of them. Just bring lots of buckets in. And all of that is going to be lubrication. We're going to use that to begin to move things around. I want you to go ahead and begin sloshing that lubrication because we need to do a job in order for that shoulder to move. Okay. All right. Now, how do we need to adjust that shoulder to go back to its <clears throat> place? What direction do we need to take it in? We need to push it in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. It's always hanging out a little bit. All right. So I'd like for you to bring your little friends and begin pushing it right back into place. Just feel it getting more flexible. Bring it back. Just feel it adjusting back into place. And tell me when that's done. It doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm, very good. Now what else do we need to do to that area of the body? Um, what else does that shoulder need? Is anything else? That bicep needs to uh, 
just calm down a little. All right. So what can we put on that bicep to just calm it down? Oh, just ask it. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's connect with that bicep. I'm going to count from one to three. And let's speak with the bicep. One, two, and three. Bicep, what is it that you need? Do you need anything cool? Do you need anything warm? Do you need just love? What do you need to feel better? I need support. <laughs> support. All right. Yeah. So what is it that you need? Is it physical support or can you do it energetically? Um, energetically. It's All like right. he's trying to hang on for dear life. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create almost like an energetic sling. Is that okay? For support? Yeah. All right. So what color would allow you to support your weight? Just blue. Beautiful. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin creating a blue sling to support that weight. And as that sling begins to lift that bicep, you can even incorporate that blue sling within the bicep. Oh. Almost like a bionic sling. Just made out of this blue energy that will stay there in order to heal the bicep. How does that look? It's nice. And that feels nice. Very good. So now... Let's disconnect from the bicep and let's look at the rest of the body and see what do we need to take care of now. I need to balance the spine. The spine is just... It needs to straighten up. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a brace out of light. And I want you to go ahead and see what would be the most appropriate color that will help straighten out and support the spine. What would be the best color? I guess it's green because it'd be alive and growing. Very good. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin creating a brace. It's a living brace to begin forming around the spine very gently. And as it forms around the spine, let's begin to lift it and bring it support. Kind of like infusing that green within the spine. And the spine will be able to adjust to its proper fitting. So see the green as it begins to move and adjust. Little by little. Mm. And you can make adjustments and request the, the green to continue working. You can request that it tighten it or loosen it. So what do you see in your mind's eye that green doing to that spine? It's um, growing around it like an ivy. And mm -hmm. That's right. It's kind of squeezing and pulling it so it mm -hmm. falls into place. Very good. And I'd like for you to add something to that green. I'd like for you to add some little flowers to it. And these little flowers will give it the essence that it needs. It will give it the sweetness that it needs, the essence of the flowers. Because the spine needs love. It needs to send all of those impulses to the rest of the body. And by, by adding flowers, it will be a sweet transit each time. 
what a beautiful sensation of being able to heal the rest of the body with sweetness. And as that green continues to work, I'd like for you to just focus on the rest of the body. What else needs assistance? The, I don't know if the ringing in the ears is somebody talking or mm-hmm. something, maybe the sound of the earth. When Let's I was... find out. I'd like for you now to just feel that energy. Feel that energy and connect. Connect with those tones and you'll be able to identify are they coming from the earth or beyond? I think they might just be coming from the earth. Mm-hmm. And the frequency is changing. Mm-hmm. So that's when it's gone crazy in one mm-hmm. ear. Sometimes the other ear joins in, so... Mm-hmm. So when this body listens to that frequency in the future, what does she need to know when she hears it? What is the message that she's picking up? She'll be hearing a warning Mm -hmm. when it's time to go. Mm -hmm. Is this the same frequency that the animals pick up when they need to move in time of chaos? Yeah, but it's constant. Mm-hmm. So it's getting her used to it. So mm-hmm. she'll know when something big's happening. Okay, but. very good. So does she need to worry any more about her ringing in the ears? No, she's adjusted to it. Mm-hmm. And now she'll know that when it's going haywire, there's something wrong in the frequency. All right, good. Now she's also seeing things. It seems like through the corner of her eye she's beginning to see lights, strobing. She saw a grid, some smokiness. What is she tapping into? What are these changes? She's (laughs) accidentally lifting a veil. Mm. So she's seeing beyond the reality of this earth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can she do with that information? Not much. It's Mm -hmm. just dumb. Like if you have a red car, you notice other red cars. Mm-hmm. Good. So she understands now that this is a reality that's not what her eyes see. She's not the only one. Good. Good. What about her body? She says that she's experiencing issues with her breasts. They're always very fibrous. Take a look at her breasts and see if there's anything there to take care of today. There's something on this side. Something on this side. All right, let's take a look. I'd like for you to scan and see what's there that's on that breast. Is it something that she created or something attached to her? What is that? It comes from milking those cows or Ah, something. All right. What's the message? What does Um, she have to remember? It's just a reminder of that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now, in that life, she milked a lot of cows. (laughs) Is she holding something in her own breast connected to those cows? And it could be it. Just a, she always wondered when she was milking those cows mm-hmm. how that felt. Okay. 
So she's reminded when she uh, does something that she can feel that there. So what kind of reminder did she want to bring into this life about milking those cows? Uh, just remembering the simple life. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be so complicated. Good. So now that she understands that, does she need to hold on to that souvenir any longer? No. All right. So what can we use to transform that spot there? I don't know what... Well, let's take a look at that spot. Does it have a color or a texture? Yeah, it's dense. It's dense. Okay. So we know that we can't eliminate that because she created it. She brought it as her souvenir. But we can always transform it into something else. Instead of being a reminder and being kind of like irritating, can we use that same energy that she brought from that life and spread it through her body, transforming into something positive that she can use? Okay. So what can this thing be transformed into that she can use? Because everything is energy. We could turn it into a webbing to hold that thigh muscle on. Good. Very good. Very good. So what color would this webbing be? Yellow. Yellow. Very good. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin using a yellow light and beam it into that breast. Beam it into this memory of that simple life of milking the cows, of knowing what it feels like. And let's transform it into this yellow webbing to hold up that thigh, hold up whatever else she needs to hold up. She can use this like a spider, spinning it out anytime she needs to heal something and hold it. And tell me when it's completely changed and transformed that's it it's good very good very good Sabrina wanted to know is hypnosis right for her is she going down the right path yeah for now for now good so now that we have passion in her heart take a look at her body is there anything else that she needs to know today. Like walking, mm-hmm. don't take it for granted. Mm-hmm. Um, she needs to walk more walk more okay so if you don't use it you lose it type of thing yep yep Mm -hmm. to go out there and start walking just get out there and walk it's Florida you have a trail you got a dog go do it Mm -hmm. very good Um, go fishing you need fresh fish like when you were a kid Straight from the ocean. Very good. So now I'd like to ask for some assistance. And I'd like for you to go ahead and give Sabrina a key. And this key is a very special key. It kind of looks like those old-fashioned skeleton keys that opened up doors from long ago. And I'd like for you to guide Sabrina to that place, that door, that was locked with all of that information of where she stored her languages. What does that door look like? Very magical. Mm -hmm. Very Mm otherworldly. Let's open that door. (laughs) 
What's on the other side? It's like a Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, Sabrina has the key that at any time she needs to unlock a door in that tower. She's able to go to it directly. Remember. Allow herself to just tap in to that knowledge that's within. <sighs> Allow it to just flow out. And that same magical key can be used to unlock those other doors that have been closed for her, that have been closed against her will or knowing. She could find those doors. She could find those drawers or all of those archives, all of that information that assisted her in the past can now be accessed. Okay. See yourself in that big file room with all of those drawers and begin to open them one by one. You have full sovereignty to your mind and your memory. With this key you can unlock any memory that is necessary. You can access that wisdom that is needed to heal your body, mind and soul. With this information you can help others on the path of awakening. It is mm -hmm. Feel the freedom of letting go. Pulling out all of the files that you need to take with you today. And when you have taken all of the information you need at this time to move forward so that you can heal your body, mind, and spirit, to move forward and help all of those in need, let me know and say done. Done. Very it's good. accessed. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else? that Sabrina needs to know today, or are we complete? She's been trembling in her bed, and it feels like the bed is shaking, mm -hmm. and she's not cold. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't really understand what that is either. Mm -hmm. What is that? Where is that coming from? Is that from... something else preparing, some kind of preparing. Mm -hmm. Is her body being prepared? Is that energy? Yeah, it must be. Mm -hmm. You know, she thinks the dog's on the bed and it's trembling, but it's mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. um, she's, uh, that's another energy frequency thing. Mm -hmm. So when her body begins to shake, what can she do to center herself in this calm? Just let it happen. Very good. Don't worry about it. Very good. Is there anything else? Or are we complete? I think we're done here. Very good. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Something just poured out of my left eye. <laughs> I think I got your pillow wet. That's okay. How do you feel? There you are. Golly. You did wonderful. Do you feel that this is something you want to share with others? 
Yeah, I mean, well, do you think? I mean, it's up to you. You're the one that does all this stuff. I mean... Well, it was kind of interesting about the comet and all that. That comet was... I was racing a yeah. comet. And and then you go, where are you going? I was like, oh, crap. Are we going to the Earth? <laughs> you heard the call. All right. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel way rested. Yeah? Yeah. How's your body feel? Oh, much better. Very comfortable. Yeah? Very, like a jacuzzi. Like I've been in a jacuzzi or something. So when you came here today, how were you feeling? Um, Stressed. Mm -hmm. Very stressed out. Yeah. Uh, A lot of confusion in my life and stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now after we've done this, have you seen, can you see things from a different perspective? Yes. Uh, It's not so much to worry about. No. You came here to calm people. And, uh... I'm bigger than I think I am. Way <laughs> bigger. Way bigger. So i got to let the beast out every once in a while. And that's what you were given a visual at night when you go to sleep? Just take off. I will. I'll just take off and zoom, zoom. Man. Yeah. What was really interesting was the part about the earth. Yeah. It was wobbling like it was filled with jello. Yeah. That I so, so Seriously. It seems like you, you're going to be in the right place at the right time in order to help people yeah. during this time. Yeah. 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 That's my personality, actually. I, yeah, and, that, and that's I what we, that's we're all here. That's a weird. You came weird. here to awaken people, to, to let them know, hey, you, you got to, something's happening big, something's mm-hmm. really big going to mm-hmm. happen, mm-hmm. but we need to be awake, we need to be aware, we, we need to know that we are bigger than this body. Okay, yes. that's really important to understand. We are not this body. We're just inhabiting this body, but we're much bigger than that. Yep. So uh, we did also some kind of like a, a light surgery on your shoulder. Yes. And I, oh, please, that feels a lot better. It does. Interesting, it huh? Does. That feels. So you think you're going to be able to paint better. now a lot better? Yeah, and I'll have things to paint. Maybe mm. some new subject matter. Yeah, maybe the Earth. <laughs> like the With Earth, this egg. <laughs> Earth egg giving birth. Interesting. And, uh, maybe, uh, you know, a spirit race and a comet. Yeah, it will, and, wouldn't that be cool? And going through that energy field, the, the debris field around Saturn, that was, it was kind of like, oh, I'm going to get hit by rocks. And then it was like, no, they're spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> I can just cruise right through there. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Now, is there um, a place where people could see your artwork? Do you have a place where people could um, see your artwork? I'm getting a new website. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I just got off of this website, but you know, you can look up my name and every once in a while. Okay. Pop up. So, do you want I'll people to, to look you up so that you can you can show your artwork? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So we'll put the the name so that people can see. Yeah, they can look me Good. up. And then you can show them your art to see how, yeah. how you start progressing. Well, let's, yeah, let's see what I, where I go with Excellent. this. Because there was a lot of uh, fun little visuals, mm-hmm. you know, that little town. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. yeah. So you're going to be attending next week the introspective hypnosis class. Yes, the introspective. <laughs> and so now that you understand what a session feels like, do you think that this will help you to become a better practitioner? Yes. I think mm-hmm. um, it'll help me understand the ins and outs of, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. certain situations with people, yeah. Yeah. So would you recommend this to other people? Oh, definitely. Definitely. It was yeah. interesting. And you're just a doll. <laughs> you're a gem. And we're not going to show this. It's like hanging out with a best friend <laughs> that I just met, you know. <laughs> and even though I'm not going to show this on the video, but I did have to get a little tough with her at the beginning. Oh, my God. And uh, she was kind of like in shock. But uh, like, what are you doing? Yeah, we we do have to pull out the big guns when 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 our clients are not Apparently. are not compliant. <laughs> so uh, did that help? Yeah, yeah. It, it was a shocker. I was like, "What are you doing there?" Yeah. But, so uh, then it just, I was like, "Boom, there it went." Yeah. yeah. So that's what happens when people uh, come to my sessions. I have many many different tools that I use, and uh, it's just not one thing that I do. It depends on the client and what it, they're going through. And in this one. Uh, she was having a little 
uh, issue with trying to visualize. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not doing. <laughs> so I had to, to, to do a few things to, to get her to start visualizing. And I did use the painting analogy because she that paints worked. and she uses that part of her mind to create. So that's what we did. We started yeah. with a painting and it just moved on. And, and I'm sure you'll, you'll notice that. So if you want a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to my hypnosis tab. Scroll down, it says newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. It'll tell you when the next uh, newsletter is coming out. And um, Definitely once that. it comes out, you gotta be really fast. Click on the links, it opens up a calendar. That calendar is only for that newsletter. Once I fill out all the sessions, they're gonna be blank. You're not gonna see any more appointments until the next newsletter with a new calendar. So I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. I hope you enjoyed this session. And uh, bye. Now for the hug. <laughs> Ooh.